Hello, people. Today, I'm going to be showing my Minecraft high school. Well, right now. Yeah, we'll rock right now. Okay. Well, first of all, this, well, that's the school sign featured exclusively there and in the principal's office. This is the thing that has a daylight sensor so that people can't use the teleport if it teleports you. Yeah, and there's also was an incident, that's why I was like that. So people can't use the teleporter after hours. This will teleport you to your house and back. I will actually be using it at the end of the video. What do you think? I'm going to show you going all the way home? Oof. That's just, that would just be boring and cruel. Okay, so, let's see. Which classroom should we go to first? How about this one? Science, lateness will make you a test subject. And then here, this sign, it seems that they were throwing stones at it. I can't read it anymore. <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> okay. It seems, oh dear, some people are paralyzed. I always knew that that witch who teaches this class was trouble. There should be, there should be bottles, of, there should be potion bottles here. Maybe she used them all. I dread to think what she used them on. Okay. So these are the cauldrons. This is... In the science in Minecraft basically means potions. Which is our potion experts. What? Um, and by the way, all the staff here... The staff here are actually like first... Like first, like I was trying to make staff, and I was trying to make the students actually do something. But no, the students are just villagers, and the staff. Well, there are no staff, except for a person, a separate person who just um, who just walks the paths per forever, making clearing up all the way all the snow. This is the principal's office. Oh, by the way, I was just in the math with Mr. Matthews. The math class is very boring. There's actually like pretty much absolutely nothing in there. <laughs> Like absolutely, like it's just a generic classroom. Exact, it's exactly like homeroom one. So I won't be showing homeroom one to save time. Okay. So this is the principal's office. This is a fake view. It's actually a map, but I'm not gonna get into that. See, there, right there. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get us out of here. Dear, dear, I hope we're not stuck in there. And Miss Draxton, I made and Doctor Draxton, I made that for you. I'm not. I'm still not used to calling her a doctor. And even because it's just so much more familiar to say Miss. Okay, this guy got frozen. In, that's a villager who got got or a student, depending, who got frozen in the snow. And this is and this is a lunch. And this is a lunch table. There's only one lunch table. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why there there are so many people. Maybe that's why there are so many people. Maybe that's why some, maybe that's why some of the classrooms have, just have like, a, like I call it a student stampede rebellion because like, literally like pretty much every single student's in there. Okay, this is the carpentry classroom. The thing about this one is that the tables pop up. They do that because they do that so that you can put in, so that you can put in these anvils and the students will still be able to reach. And yet they will have to touch the floor if you don't want to use anvils. That was the lunch area over there. And now this is my very favorite classroom, the art room. This has is home to much beautiful art. Sometimes. Sometimes it just decides that it doesn't want to load that art. I don't know why. Uh, load, load. Sorry. Sometimes you have to turn to re-enter the world in order to make all these, all these beautiful paintings load. I don't know why. Okay, so it's very beautiful, isn't it? I think it's beautiful. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so that's the pool. I'm not going to attempt to delve into it, but there are, but there were supposed to be squids in here. I actually put a squid spawner in there. I, I said I won't attempt to delve into it. Well, I put a, actually put a squid spawner in there, but it seems to have not done that job. It's job. Well, actually, oh dear, that's a lot of students. You can see from these ink sacks, there are some squids, but not, well, it, uh, not quite. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yep, the student stampede rebellion. Okay, that is that is home. That is the homeroom. Yep, and see, 
and see that this machine actually works. I believe we're at the end of our thing already. Hmm. What? Add one thousand. Time travel time. One thousand. Okay. Five hundred. Time to time travel. Oh dear, why won't it work? Where even is the moon? Day. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, there. Time travel, and now, immediately valid. There. Let's go in here. Oh, no wonder none of the students have returned. Well, I guess, I guess that concludes our thing. Good 